we try to use natural boundaries where we can, so ditches, banks, stone walls, tracks. Um, but when we haven't got that, um, we usually go in with um, GPS equipment. A number of people, when they buy a wood, think about fencing the wood off, um, partly to sort of um, make it a more private place. The tracks within a particular wood, if it, it happens to be your individual wood, are your responsibility. Access tracks which are shared with other woodland owners, maintenance is shared by all those who use them um, on a, a usage basis. Uh, well, any of the tracks that are, are shared in the woodlands, uh, the ownership of those tracks is retained by us uh, uh, at Woodlands. And we have what's called a fair usage policy, which just means that um, uh, if, you, if you use the tracks and you damage them, that you'd be expected to, to make them good again. In, in England, there is no specific right to roam on the woods that we sell. Uh, people are uh, clearly uh, uh, enabled and allowed to use public footpaths or public bridleways. You're more than welcome to, to put some fencing up. I, I tend to ad, um, advise people not to put stop-proof fencing, just so that it doesn't um, stop the wildlife moving around freely because they don't really understand boundaries. On the whole, there is not a lot of trespassing that goes on. In, in woods, generally speaking, people will stick to paths on the whole and public footpaths.